Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing part two, I guess, of our uh, DFS uh, breakdown uh, for the UFC card. Uh, as you guys know, I like to separate them into the plays video, which we did a couple of days ago, and the lineup build video, which I think is a lot more important and a lot more interesting. Uh, to, to figure out who the good plays are, I really believe is not difficult. Um, again, you guys want a quick recap of who the good plays are i mean either guy from the heavyweight fight you can play feely probably a better play than almeida but probably a pass uh, either Durden or olin Beckoff is probably a good play with the wrestling upside o'neill is the better play here because she has more upside um kelleher garbrand probably a pass rosa may be playable but fight probably a pass jacoby menefield probably a pass uh, Mitchell's got the wrestling upside, so he's okay. Uh, Pimblet, good inside the distance prop, he's okay. Rockman off, obviously great inside the distance prop, he's good. And then you have the two five round fights, and Pantoja is clearly the number one play on the board, uh, or maybe Covington. I mean, both of these guys have incredible metrics. Their win condition scores amazingly, and they're both complete smash plays. Roy Val is. You know, seems like obviously a good bit of leverage against Pantoja. And Edwards is going to be the guy that, you know, that everybody fades uh, because his win condition is is, is very, very slow. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, it, it doesn't really take a, a, an expert to, well, maybe it does, to, to say Covington, Pantoja to kind of start off your lineups. And the rest is kind of, I mean, you can make really easy lineups without too much of a problem. You could play Pimblet. You could play Rockman off, off or whatever. And any of these wrestlers might work to make this lineup just kind of play itself. You could play Gaziev here. You know what I mean? Like these are, this is a very easy card to build good kind of conservative lineups. But that's not what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is, is win the, you know, the, the 150. And, and not only to win the 150, but get unique and win a lot in the 150. I'm really not interested, not to say I'm not interested. Um, I don't really want to chop this with 50 people. Um, I, I'd like the, you know, I'd like to win a lot more. And so, listen, sometimes you can. Sometimes there's such an incredible, easy path to victory for a six-person lineup that you just have to eat it, but it's very, very rare. Um, there's just so much more chaos in MMA that people believe. So I am going to be trying to, you know, strike that balance between uh, the best plays and the plays that will win the most, you know, over a period of time. So what we're going to do is we are going to use Saberson, and I'm going to give you guys a couple of ideas as I kind of run through them about what to do here. And we're going to focus on the 150, um, the lottery, but just so you guys know, I am playing three contests. I'm playing the 150, the, the special I'm playing the 555 and I'm playing three entries in the, in the world championship qualifier. And we will address how to build for those as well, but we're going to focus the majority of this on the 150. And again, just to give you an idea of some things that you can do, um, you, you, they, they can apply to this slate. They can apply to others, but I'd like to apply these, these concepts to an actual slate. So let's do this one. So the first thing that you want to do, uh, this is, this is, you know, again, this is not a hundred percent. This is my opinion. This is, as I'm learning this stuff myself. Um, first thing you want to do is obviously I've done all this for you already, but just to show you what I did, uh, you upload your projections, whether it's Saber Sims or whether it's, you know, mine or yours or whatever. Okay. Um, to Saber Sim. Now you could use the solver. You could use run the Sims. You can use whatever. Like, I'm not going to get into that. I happen to use Saber Sim. You could use other optimizers, but the, the tools that are available on SaberSim allow you to do some cool, funny business with the lineups. Um, that's why I use it, and that's what I'm going to be focusing on. So we upload our custom projections. We upload our ownerships. And the first thing that you want to do is just run your 150 with these ownerships and these uh, projections. And after you run them, the important thing to think about first is how to display them. Um, now, you can display them at the beginning either by MMA Sim Diversity 10 or MMA Default. And just to remind everybody, 
what these two will show are completely different types of lineup builds. So when you look at your MMA Sim Diversity 10, that is basically the, the standard Saber Sim interpretation, right? Of, of a good set of lineups that give you upside, little bit of ownership they take into account whatever correlation there exists, not in MMA, obviously, but in other sports. And and it gives you a certain degree of randomness, okay? Um, now, when you build with this and you display it by Sim Diversity 10, this is usually where you get kind of like the normal plays, okay? This is usually where you get the, the normal plays. Now, just to show you, we'll do this again. Just for, We're going to rebuild all the lineups. And we're doing no, um, what you call it? We have no filters no screens, we're not, you know, doing whatever. Ooh, but there's one thing I do want to do. I keep forgetting to do this for you guys. You have to decide whether you want to allow um, opposing fighters. And I, this is a tough call in general because sometimes there are fights that could get there in a stack. Usually they don't. That's what, and, and usually in a full 12 fight card, they don't. Now there is one fight that could, and that is the uh, the Pantoja fight, just because there's just going to be so much pace and so much stuff that it is possible that that fight can get there. So you have to really decide whether you want to check, don't use opposing fighters. Um, I, for now, I'm going to not click it. In other words, so if I get some lineups with this with a with a, a fight stack, I'm going to uh I'm going to accept it. But that is a decision if you're using Saber Sim that you have to make right off the bat. But I would say that 90, I would say 90% of the time, but a good amount of the time, you want to click don't use opposing spiders. And one thing you can do is if you have an opinion on a fight like that, um, that if you do feel as though that fight for some reason could uh go off without one person, you know, one fighter winning, so to speak, um, uh, then what you could do is manually create some lineups with that fight stack in. Um, but aside from that, that is the decision you have to make. Um, so again, I wasn't anticipating having to actually run this again with you guys here, um, but I didn't want to show you that I did run it. So um, I'm going to pause you guys for just a second. And uh, when this is done, I'll come right back. All right, so after running these, this is your, your main um, uh, what you call this is your main view, but this is the main view with the MMA uh, again, sim diversity settings. Okay. So for, forget about the exposures, forget about all this. You don't want to look at this. Okay. You, you, you want to just go through this process and don't worry about what you have. You have to kind of just trust. You know, that your projections were good, that your analysis is good, and let the lineups building process take care of who you actually play. And that's something that is very difficult to do, but I, I really think you have to do this. So if you went with this initial build, this 150, rated by Sim Diversity, okay, um, that's to me the minimum that you should be doing, Okay. If you put in these lineups just like this, you're going to be getting a good portfolio of 150 lineups, honestly, that are really not particularly unique. Um, if you do this, you're going to have a good sweat. You're going to have a good, you know, probably a good EV experience. Uh, you're probably not going to be in contention for winning too many of these contests by yourself. Okay. Um, I'm just saying, um, but I'm not going to trash this portfolio. This is a really, really, it's certainly a lot better than just running the optimals and running the you know, top projected score type things. And I also believe that it's better than hand building. Um, but the next thing that you probably should do before you do anything else is uh, you should run a contest sim. But before we do that, I want to just, again, expose you to this other ranking system, this MMA default, which uh, Saberson has. And when you drill down into what MMA default is, um, 
MMA default is an extremely aggressive way of ranking lineups. It, it, it not to get too into the formula here, but it, it takes into account your, um, like the, the, well, excuse me, this is MMA, uh, this is uh, Sim Diversity. MMA default, you have 99th percentile outcomes, you have very, very low ownerships. You know, it takes, takes into account adjusted ownerships too. This type of build is really for the super aggro, okay? And what this type of build is very likely to do is lose, okay? But it is also quite likely to ship the whole thing if it does win. So if you wanted, again, no, again, this is your real shortcuts, but if you wanted a, you know, a portfolio of 150 lineups that is going to put you in a position that if you do win, you're going to win it all, and the lineups themselves are not that bad, um, this is what you're going to look for, okay? Um, and it's going to make you want to throw up if you actually have done analysis of the fights, um, but... It is definitely a construct that you need to be familiar with. And it's also a construct you need to be familiar with if you want to do, you know, funny things with your builds, which is what we're going to be doing. Okay. So those are two things that you want to, you know, those are two views that you want to keep an eye on. The other thing you want to do is you want to run a, a contest set and look at that type of line of construction. So we already uploaded our contest here and and i think we already saved this information but just to do it again you right click here and it will save the contest data with how much it pays how many you know uh how many entrants and things like that so that when you run your contest sim it will not it won't just uh give you your best lineups, but it'll pair your lineups with the actual contest that you're playing. So for example, um, we could just do it right here. Well, we did it twice, so we can just run it again. So we're going to run the contest sims. And what we're going to do is, is remember, we ran 5,000 lineups beginning. And it's all a question of how we want to rank them. We're not playing all 5,000 lineups, but it's a question of which 150 you want to play. First set we looked at was uh, was just the top, you know, was rating these 5,000 by uh, MMA Sim Diversity. Then it was by this MMA default thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at them by each contest. So it's going to be, um, let's look at the, the 150s. That's what we're looking at here. So we sort by risk-adjusted ROI. And then you have this portfolio of lineups. So this portfolio of lineups here is, you know, the the good plays, right? Rated by Sim Diversity, or excuse, which is rated by five thousand, whatever. And then it's just been rated by, um, uh, what you call it, by how it fits in the actual contest. Okay, so I think that this portfolio or the, you know this group of lineups is an improvement over the regular sim diversity one. So you you can you could put in this set of lineups and probably do a little better, okay, than uh than just doing the sim diversity uh rankings. Okay. Um I, like what I still think that this set is not gonna be particularly unique, but it's it's really good. Okay, I don't want to say that this is bad. This is this is really really good. It, you might get some uniques out of this, um, but overall, I mean, it's a nice conservative way of playing. So, wh where do we fall? You know, and, and what can we do? You know, how much of the MMA default do you want to play? How much of the the some diversity do you want to play? How much of the um, what you might call it the, uh, the 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 contest sim build do you want to play? Now, what you could do is you could play fifty of each. And I've tried that, and and, and that, I think that that's definitely a, a, a neat way to play. Okay, it gives you a good exposure of different types of of, of risk of risk profiles, and remember, we're all basing it on our initial projections, so it is basing it on our, you know, whether we what we think are good plays or not. 
but it gives you a good combination of of both upside, uniqueness, and also <laughs> a, a, re a reasonable chance to win. But another thing that you could do, right? Let, let's take this card, for example, right? You could do a blend of these things in this way. Let's go back to the to this to this setting actually. Because this is a good one. This is this is uh well actually let's go back to the the, the uh sorry the uh, sim diversity 10 uh, rankings. One thing that you can do is you see Colby Covington. So Colby Covington we have at 36%. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought that we were going to get an extraordinary amount of Colby Covington. And he's going to be really, really high owned. I want to focus on the Pantoja and the Covington side of this of this slate. Okay. I I really believe that if you want to get unique and you want to you know, put yourself in a position to win a decent amount, that you really don't want to have too much exposure of regular Covington lineups or regular Pantoja lineups, meaning that you know, if you just pick the Pantoja lineups that are rated either, honestly, by Sim Diversity 10 or even by uh by the uh whatchamacallit, by the um the contest sims, I just think that you're gonna get, you know, not enough uniqueness. Uh, that's just my feeling. So what I would do is only play. Let's let's start with Colby Covington. I would only play Colby Covington lineups in lineups that are part of the MMA default rankings. Okay, um, I would really not play the the highest owned guy in lineups that are just kind of normal. You know, now there there are other ways for things to not be normal, right? So so another way that you could play Colby Covington lineups is to leave money on the table. And normally what I would say is, hey, no big deal. You know, I'm just going to, I'll leave the 200 on the table that separates him from Leon Edwards because optimizers will probably get to Leon Edwards when there's 8,200 left just because of the uh, the uh, the median projection. But here, I mean, well, I actually do have Leon Edwards. This is really odd. So it depends on where you go here. I, mean, like, I actually have Leon Edwards projected better than Colby Covington. But you have Saberson who projects Colby Covington higher. So I, I don't know where the optimizers are going to lead people if they have 8,200 left. So I, I don't think that technique is going to be particularly useful for that fight. But the... Um, and the Pantoja fight, again, he's the favorite. So I can't really do any leaving money on the table thing with him necessarily. So... How do you play Colby Covington lineups and Pantoja lineups? You can either play again the Colby Covington lineups or the Pantoja lineups of the M in the which are in the MMA default set, or you can artificially restrict ownership by doing like a geo mean filter. And we're going to do both of those things in a second. So let's look at first of all um, what. The Colby, well, so what are we going to do here? So how much are we going to take out? Uh, I'm not sure. But we'll go to the MMA default settings, and we'll just see, first of all, if there even is any Colby Covington. Yeah, I didn't think so. So in the Colby Covington builds, there are only 2.7%, you know, lineups, you know? So, like, I don't even know how we're even going to get to a decent percentage of Colby Covington if we screen by MMA default because by definition, his lineups are not going to look good in this MMA default setting. Okay. So I guess we could lock him in and see what, what happens there. Let's, um, we'll do this and then let's see if we can. Will this help? Can we do this if we played 150 and No, it doesn't work that way, does it? Hmm. I guess what you could do is lock him in first, or you know what we could do? Let's do this. Let's let's look at two thousand lineups, kind of that, and then we're gonna 
see. Let's see if we want to play 50 Colby Covington lineups. Okay, so there's 390. So there are plenty of them to play. So let's only look at the top Colby Covington lineups. We'll do this. So these are going to be just the Colby Covington lineups. And there are how many? It looks like 398 Colby Covington lineups that are sort of an MMA default. So let's say we did want to play 30% be with the field. So we can sort this by 50. Well, we could do that. Do that. How many are there here that I'm that I'm capturing? How many of these Colby Covington's guys am I capturing here? Um, they're here, but I need to download these. So let's download these. Save these to CSV. And we're just going to take the top, the top certain amount. So this is what we're doing. We're, we're taking 398 Colby Covington lineups. And we're going to just, we're going to get with the, not with the field, we're going to play like the 40% that he's probably worth. But so we're going to play 60 lineups. We're going to save 60 for now. And let's chop off the rest. And we have to save these and we have to call them something. So we're going to call them, um, we'll call them Colby uh, MMA default 40. Okay. All right. So that's one way to get the Colby Covington lineups that we want. Okay. We're getting them, pulling them right out of the MMA default pool. Another way to get the Colby Covington lineups we want is let's go back to the uh the uh the contest sim look okay. um and then what I want to do is I want to filter these by geo mean okay so what we're gonna look for is our Colby Covington lineups within the Saber Sim, you know, uh, within the contest sims that can be unique. So the way you do that, again, you pull up your Geomean calculator, which I'm going to get on the site one of these days, and you enter the total amount of entries in 18, 8, 23, player six in a lineup. We only want one dupe at max. And here's the formula. So you're going to need a Geomean of 19.3. So within this view okay um within this view we want to filter for geo mean of 19 and we're going to make sure they only have colby's so let's um we could probably just rerun it locking them in but let's see if we can get to it organically here less than 19 Uh, so there's only 178. Do we have any of them with Colby? Let's see. We have only, what, 15? And that's not bad. So let's download the 15 that we have with Colby. Boom. These... So these are the 15 lineups we have with Colby. Colby, Geo Mean, 19. Okay, fair enough. Now, so we're, we're building these lineups a little bit kind of like from the bottom up this time. You know, we're going to start with the fact that we want the, we don't want as much Colby with chalk and we don't want Pantoja with chalk. So this is the part that we're playing the Colby. Okay. So let's um let's uh 
And I'm presuming that none of these are going to have Colby and Pantoja in it together. It's just, there's just no way. So let's, uh, let's, the next thing I want to do is I want to see how many of these are duped. Like, so I built 40 of them with Colby. Well, we don't even have to do that. I, I think it's okay to play 55 lineups with Colby, provided they all look good. So that's fine. So we do have our Colby exposure in there. Um, and then we're going to, now we're going to build some Pantoja stuff. So let's go back and let's actually keep the same thing that we had before since we've had this thing saved. And let's do the same thing with Pantoja. So again, let's say we want to play 40% or you know, 50, 50 lives with Pantoja. Let's only take those that have either a G, well, either a geo mean of 19 or they are within the MMA default setting. So let's first take a look at the how many of these are geo mean less than 19. Uh, so only 22 with Pantoja. Is that right? That's eh, fine. Well, some of them do have actually both of them, which is very, uh, very interesting. Okay. So we are going to get some, some, some dupes, not dupes, but duplicated lineups. So let's, uh, how many are there? 22? Let's save this. Well, let's just save the CSV. And this is going to be called... Um, Pantoja. Geo Pantoja. Geo Me 19. I'm going to keep these. And then we're going to go back to the MMA default look. And we could we can we can take 40 of these if we want. So let's uh download these. And again, this is boring, but this is this is this is you asked how what I do, and this is what I do. All right. So Let's uh, download these, and we'll just take the top 40 of these. So these are, again, are the Pantoja lineups that are within the MMA defaults. So let's uh, take 40 of these. Okay. Actually, we'll delete those. So we have 40. And then we're going to go MMA, Pantoja. Um, what's his name? Pantoja, MMA default. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to combine all of those Pantoja and Covington lineups together. So how do we do that? Well, if I save them here, I could have just put them into the favorites column. But since I didn't do that, I have to just list them all in one spot and make sure they're not duped. So now we have to kind of flex my little my uh, the spreadsheet thing that I have here, which is um, a sheet which filters out uh, Excel duplicates. So it's where it's called dupe test. And I got to put this, I, I will figure out how to put this on the site, but you know what? It's not, it's uh, it has a macro and you can't convert those to Google, to Google docs easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up those lineups that we just created. Got to get to, sorry, where's downloads. Downloads are here. Download history. Um, no, I want, oh, I'm putting it to my file, so. Yeah. All right, so let's get all these together. So we have Colby MMA default. That's, those are these, oh, wait, we did 60? We need 60. We just needed 50, right? So 
So we're gonna save them into here. That's 50. Then we're gonna do the Colby Geomi 19. I'm going to add these. To here. Just make sure we don't have the wrong sport after we finish this. This is from a previous one. Then we're going to go to Pantoja. MMA default. Pantoja MMA default. Boom. So remember what we're trying to do here. We're, 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 we're taking the best plays. Okay. And these are the two best plays, I promise you. Colby and Pantoja. But we're only playing the ones that have a chance to pay, pay a decent amount. So let's see what we have here. So these are a total of 128 lineups I built with the best plays. But let's see... How many of those are like saying the same thing twice? So let's see. Remove duplicate lineups. And you'll see that the whole bunch of, you know, of dupes. So, but we do have a good amount. So we do have 103 lineups. So what this means is we have 103 lineups with either Pantoja or Covington. Okay. And if you, guys are thinking what I'm thinking, you know how we're going to build the rest of those. Okay. So we now have 102 lineups with at least one of them, right? We don't want any lineups that have those guys in the chalkier builds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this contest sim thing. The contest sim look, risk-adjusted ROI, all of our lineups are in here. We could look at 50, we could look whatever. And what we're going to do is we are going to take the lineups, we're going to take how many? We have 50, you know, 51 left or so. We're going to take the top 51 lineups with neither Pantoja, oops, This here. Uh, did I screw something up? No, I didn't screw anything up. What did I do? Well, I unfiltered something. Hang on. Did I get rid of these? Oh, but I want to show more lineups. Okay. okay. Um, what I want to do is X out the Pantojas and X out the Colby's. So what we're going to do is take the top 50 lineups with neither Pantoja nor Colby, rated by, uh, not by Sim Diversity, but by this the contest Sim. Let's do this. And that's going to complete our field. So let's uh, take 50, see if that works. Well, right now we need, how many we need, I say? 50, 49, 48, I think. Boom, oops. My 11. Let's go back to, oh, what are talking about here? Why am I only showing 19? It can't be only 19. Right. Listen to this one. Um, yeah, this looks good. So we will save these. And then we're talking about 49 lineups. Put these like this. Oh, I didn't show you in my sheet. 
Right. And then we have, let's just make sure there's no dupes here. Are there any dupes in here? Nope. So we have 100 and pretty close, right? 150, almost 150. So we'll get rid of these two. I right, don't want to know what these are, honestly. And then we're just going to replace the 150 with these. And then the fun part is going to see what our exposure is. Uh, I, I really don't want to see, honestly. So again, the goal here, again, is to not exactly show you what to play, but just different things you can do. And this is what I decided to do with the Saberson stuff here. So let's put these here. Let's go pile these in. And then, oh, oh Mrs. Sheets is up. This is good that I'm just finishing this. We'll build it. We'll build our our big buy-ins a little bit later, I guess. You know who I'm playing. I mean, I told you guys who the good players are, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing in the in the big buy-ins. Um, I'm going to end up uh, probably just writing the contestants for that. Yeah. All right, so let's just take a look and see what the exposures are just for fun. Um, actually, you know what we can do? Let's uh let's upload those to uh to Saberson so we'll we'll have a good look at it. So contests we will upload. Overwrite these. So this is what it's gonna look like. Um this is what our exposure is going to look like, whether we like it or not. Well, we can always change it, but this is what it will look like. And these are the top home guys. Mostly Jacoby, then Irene Aldana, Cody Durden, you know. And you are getting a good amount of the of the good plays, you know. We're getting all those Pantosia lineups, all those Covington lineups, but you're just not getting them with um with anything chalky. Um, so that's, you know, this is what we did. You know, we have a good combination of upside, good plainness, so to speak, and also some, some wild, you know, duplication medication, and that'll do it. Uh, hopefully you learned something from this by saying that you should play 32% Thompson. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that that's what our lineup bill led us to. Uh, that'll do it. Good luck.